Welcome back to Counseling Minus the Bull with Candice. So today we're going to do um, some videos today. It's going to be some disorders. The first one, um, with that being said, is going to be about generalized anxiety disorder. I'm on the wrong page of my notes, guys. Hold on. Okay. All right. So um, if you're new here, welcome. We're going to start with our check-in. So the check-ins is basically just... Um, how are you feeling today? Um, I usually do it in dance moves. You can use your lyrics, emojis. You can type in how you feel as long as it's appropriate and as long as it is positive. So put your check-ins below, guys. Um, so my dance move for today is... Um, I have been watching a few videos, guys. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, Let's jump right into it. Um, so we're looking at generalized anxiety disorder. I know I did a previous video on stress, anxiety, and feeling overwhelmed. I can't remember if I actually went into like treatments and actual diagnostic criteria. So I'm just going to do it here. So um, GAD, I'm just going to say it um, for short, GAD. Um, Generalized anxiety disorder is a pervasive disorder that affects almost every system of the body um, Physiologically cognitive motivational affective and behavioral um, The essential feature of GAD is a chronic worry about number of life life matters that is judged to be excessive and uncontrollable um, Some of the things that people Say they experience is an inability to relax, tension, jumpiness, unsteadiness, um, dry mouth, um, intestinal discomfort, having cold hands. Um, you can also experience difficulty concentrating, um, apprehension about losing control, fear, rejection, inability to control your thinking, confusion. Um, secondary symptoms looking like emotional outbursts and hypersensitivity, um, reduced sexual and interpersonal activity, perfectionism, um, exaggerated startle response. Um, typically, clients suffer from low self-esteem. They feel insecure, indecisiveness, um, socially inadequate, and have strong needs for affection and approval. Uh, people with general anxiety disorder are also prone to anxiety um, late in dreams. So, um, I'm actually reading from my notes, guys. I'll show you. So, this is my binder. I keep everything in just for my future reference. I have, like, all of the disorders, the treatment, some of the assessments in here, um, stuff for my internship. So, it's just my handy-dandy binder. Okay, anyway, let's go back. So, um, anticipatory anxiety is future oriented mood state in which people are in a constant state of hyper vigilance and over arousal and the expectation of a threat related stimuli. This disorder tends to have fairly gradual onset, often beginning in childhood or adolescence. Um, generally, people seek treatment in their 20s without treatment of the disorder. Um, a personality disorder and tends to be um, chronic throughout well kind of okay so we're saying that um, you can if it's not treated um, much like a personality disorder it tends to be chronic throughout your lifespan throughout your life um, so let's just go we said all of this I just read through that really quickly it's like three paragraphs <laughs> so let's go back to the criteria so according to the DSM Excessive anxiety and worry about at least two different life circumstances for the most for most days during a period of six months. Um, the worry is difficult to control. It causes um, distress and impairment and is accompanied um, to at least three of the following psychological symptoms. No, physiological symptoms. Um, and then it breaks it down to only one in children. So edginess or restlessness, tiring easily, difficulty concentrating, irritability, uh, muscle tension, and difficulty in sleep, sleeping. Um, it goes also into like some 
risk factors. So I don't, I don't really want to go into that. So let's just jump right into treatment, guys. So treatment is looking like, um, as we always talk about on here, cognitive behavior therapy. <laughs> it's effective for a lot, guys. Um, so when you're looking at cognitive behavior therapy, you're looking at like a three time approach, uh, five to 20 sessions, treating generalized anxiety disorder. You're emphasizing an inductive, syrocratic method of teaching. So questions are the primary form of intervention. Homework is assigned. Um, you have four stages of treatment where you're relieving the client's symptoms, number one. Number two, you're helping the client to recognize distorted um, automatic doubts. Three, you're teaching the client logic and reasoning. And four, you're helping client modify long kill dysfunctional assumptions underlining their major concerns. Um, so the approach is logical, it's organized, it's emphasizing um, a good relationship between the client and their counselor, counseling training, <laughs> like me. Um, and then most clients show um, significant improvement. So as far as the prognosis or outcome of therapy, um, some things you can also look at is medication if necessary, as usually not necessary, it says, um, yeah, but it's always an aid. And then we have behavior therapy. Um, you're looking at stress management. So, um, approaches like, um, relaxation techniques, guided imagery. We got a video on that guys. You can do yoga, self-monitoring, um, log your anxiety, um, by your feedback, exercise, expressive therapy, um, did we talk about that? I think we talked about systematic desensitization. I think we did. Um, if not, that's a good um, video as well. So then that's that. Um, we have anxiety management training and that's teaching individuals to cope with anxiety via self-administered relaxation and distraction. So you're helping individuals take a greater control of their lives and to schedule more pleasurable activities. Um, and then they have other things as well that I'm really not gonna get into. Um, I don't know much about, so I only wanna stick to what I know <laughs> about. Um, but yeah, and that's just me, you know, trying to stay in my realm of what I know. Um, but yeah, um, so we talked about self-care. So I'm just going to throw that anywhere. I throw that in every video, right? <laughs> Preaching self-care, taking time for yourself, doing things for yourself, um, leisure things um, as far as to keep you feeling relaxed, keep you feeling like yourself. Um, and then, oh, I, I actually had a meme that I posted, I think on Instagram. So guys, follow me there at Camp Counseling Minus the Bull. Um, and it says if you, um, if it's out of your hands, basically, then it should be free from your mind too. So that's exactly what this is. So with this excessive worrying and things you cannot control every situation so things that you can't control should be your focus now i do understand we all have these points where let's say maybe you're taking a test or you're starting a new job or you know situations that can occur that kind of raise your anxiety level um we did a video about the exec um election anxiety right where we have to wait like a week or so to find out who the candidate would be so times like this where you can really develop um some anxiety um so yeah it talks about relaxation techniques it talks about anxiety management it talks about um cognitive behavior therapy changing your thoughts and your behaviors to healthy ones um so yeah these are all great tips and taking care of yourself as necessary guys we're approaching the 10 minute mark um i'm gonna jump to another video so you will see me soon thanks for watching put your check-ins below um put your feedback below <laughs> like this video guys and follow me on instagram follow me on facebook and follow me on twitter so on facebook i'm at candice.watts.184 
and then um everywhere else i'm on counseling minus the buddha follow me like share subscribe see you next time guys